new right now at 11 o'clock. Bank customers discovering hundreds, even thousands of dollars taken out of their accounts without permission. And the bank blames the problem on a computer glitch. WBZ's Christina Rex found out what happened to the missing money. Duplicate charges. That's what Citizens Bank says this glitch caused. As in, these customers already spent this money, but then they were charged for it again. I noticed that I was negative a few hundred dollars. And all of a sudden, $1,500 uh, was out of there. Overdrawn accounts and hundreds to thousands of dollars missing. That's the nightmare hundreds of Citizens Bank customers woke up to Wednesday morning. And when they called for answers, no answer for 40 minutes was on hold. Meanwhile, customers across the Northeast started to panic. Like, is there anything that I have to buy today? Like, do I have enough groceries? Like, do I have enough gas to go places that I need to go to? The bank says a technology glitch caused customers to be double charged. Payments from February 1st posted again on February 22nd, including Kevin O'Connell's $1,500 rent check. The trust overall is definitely in lost at a certain extent and yeah. gonna have to rethink if, if this is where I want to bank anymore. It says 18 cash 163.50. For Suzanne Casey of South Boston, it was a repeat ATM transaction among other small withdrawals. A little over $300. So um, I've read some people have had several thousands done, and I think if that happened to me, I'd probably be crying right now. In a statement, Citizens Bank said our technology teams are fully engaged and are working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. We apologize for the inconvenience. But customers tell WBZ without a more detailed explanation, they're not sure they'll stick around. I mean, what, what really went on today? Do, do we know? I mean, was it actually some sort of hack? Citizens Bank says there's no evidence that this was a cyber attack or any kind of hacking incident. Now, of all the people we spoke to, some of them have all their money back, some have some of it back, and some are still waiting. In Belmont, Christina Rex, WBZ News.